Hello, and welcome to Computer Active Hints and Tips. My name is Tim Smith, and today we're going to be taking a look at hibernation in Windows XP. Now, hibernation is a clever trick designed to save battery life on notebook computers, but it's also quite handy if you've got a desktop computer as well. When a computer hibernates, all the information in its memory is saved to a large file on the hard disk, and the computer powers down completely. As you can imagine for a notebook, this means that the battery isn't in use, but for a desktop computer, it reduces the amount of time needed to shut down and then restart Windows. You will need to do a proper restart of Windows every so often, just to keep performance healthy though. So, let's take a look at how to do this. So the first step is to enable hibernation on Windows XP, and for that we need to use Control Panel. So left click on the Start button, and then Control Panel. Left click on the Performance and Maintenance option in the category view, and then on Power Options. If you're using Classic View, just double click on the Power Options icon. Now the Hibernate tab is the one on the far right, so left click on this, and then click in the box to enable hibernation. It's also worth checking this area of information down here to make sure that you have actually got enough disk space. Hibernation requires as much disk space as you have memory. This notebook's got 2 gigabytes of RAM, so I need 2 gigabytes on my notebook. When you're happy with that, click on Apply to save the changes. Now, it's worth changing Windows so that it goes into hibernation when you press the Power button. And for that, click on the Advanced tab, and then look for the option when I press the power button on my computer. Click on the down arrow and then click on hibernate. Click on apply again to save the changes and then click on OK to close the window. When you select shutdown there's one of two menus that may appear in Windows. Let's have a look at them in turn. So the first one, click on start and then turn off computer and you'll see three icons of different colours for the various options. And you'll notice that hibernate isn't visible here. But that you can still hibernate, hold down the shift key and you'll notice that standby option turns to hibernate. Keep the shift key pressed down and then left click on the hibernate option. Alternatively, some installations of Windows will show a drop down menu with the various options for shutting down and you should be able to select hibernate in this. Windows remembers the last option that you chose, so Hibernate should be available the next time that you shut the computer down. So there we are. If you need the full text of how to do this, you can use the address printed below. Uh, hopefully this has shown you how to save a little bit of time with Windows. This has been Tim Smith with Computer Active Hints and Tips.